The following message is a production of Tony Broom Ministries. You know, a lot of times when you become a Christian, one of the biggest things you do is try to overcome bad habits. One of those bad habits is saying bad words. Woo-hoo. So, instead of saying a bad word, a lot of times we'd say R-H. Oh, Ooh, that's not good either. There are some good H words in this 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-9. through 9. Contains several H words. They're not bad words, they're good words. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. There's an H word. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven. For you, it's another H word, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness, another one, through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, you love, in whom though now you see Him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Now this has a lot of encouraging things because it talks to us who are saved, those of us who know the Lord, we are blessed. Blessed be God the Father. And He has given us a blessing. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to His abundant mercy, He hath begotten us again. We're children of God. We used to be children of sin, children of the devil, children of Satan, but now we're children of God. He has begotten us again. He has put sunshine in our heart. Even on a rainy, cloudy day, we can have sunshine in our heart. And Jesus lives in our heart He's given us a lively hope. There's that R-H, that H word, hope. We have hope. We have a sure hope. We have a lively hope, a living hope. He has given us a living hope. It's not a dead hope. We have living assurance. We have certainty. We have truth. We have hope in our heart to know that He will do what He said He would do. His promise is secure. His faith is sure. His hope is real. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is proof that our hope is real. We don't serve a dead God who's in a dead grave with a dead faith and a dead hope. We serve a living God who has given us a living hope. He has given us hope and He has proved to us that hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ who He brought Christ from the dead. And He's given us this inheritance This incorruptible inheritance. It's not like if you get something down here in inheritance, if you get something promised to you, if you have riches, or or if you have anything. Sooner or later it's going to rust away. But not our inheritance that we have that's given us in heaven. It's undefiled. It does not fade away. It's reserved in heaven for you. Not just for me, not just for the preacher or the bishop. It's reserved for you. Heaven is a real place, and heaven is that other H word, that wonderful place the Bible talks about, where the streets of gold, the walls of jasper, the gates of pearl, and Jesus said, I'm going away, but I'll come again and I'll receive you to myself. I'll go and prepare a place for you. And if I go again and and prepare this place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there you may be also. Praise God for the hope of heaven. And we have a real place waiting for us in heaven. There are dwelling places there. There are mansions there. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Jesus said, you believe in God already. You just keep on believing in me and trusting in me and serving me. And I'll come and get you one of these days and take you to this wonderful place called heaven. Right now we're being kept by the power of God. Through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. We already have salvation in our heart. We know that we're saved. We know that we're born again. We know that we have Jesus as our Savior. 
But the greatest things of our salvation remain to be seen. It hasn't even dawned on us yet. We haven't even seen the half of it. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love Him. And the only way we know a little bit about it is because His Spirit has revealed the things of God to us. And He says, You greatly rejoice, though now for a season, ye, if need be, ye are in heaviness. Heaviness. We, we want to rejoice about heaven. We want to praise God about heaven. We want to be excited about heaven. And that song, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow, Because He Lives, All Fear Is Gone. I know He holds a future and life is worth the living just because He lives. And we want to be excited. We know that Jesus gives real meaning for life and purpose for life. But it doesn't take away the fact that so many things around us are going wrong and sickness and disability and old age and the corruption of government, all these things, it puts us in heaviness. We experience heaviness. He said if you're in heaviness during this season, a little time of heaviness and suffering, you have manifold temptations. There are temptations for older people. There are temptations for middle-aged people. There are temptations for younger people. All of us are compassed about with infirmity and temptations. And it puts us in heaviness. And heaviness is part of life. But it doesn't take away the fact that we have our hope. It doesn't take away the assurance of heaven. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Right now our faith is being tried. It's like gold being purified in the fire. And the trial of temptation and fire is raging against our faith. But instead of destroying our faith, it causes it to go, grow much stronger and stronger and more pure and purer. Even as it's being tried by fire. Even the gold that perishes, but our faith does not perish. Even if it's tried with fire, it might be found unto praise and honor and glory. That's the faith that we have. The honor that we have in Christ. He will appear one day and He will take us home to be with Him. Whom having not seen, you love. We've never seen Him. People make fun of us. Why do you serve a Savior you've never seen? Why do you praise God you've never seen Him? Oh, we've never seen Him with our eyes, but we know Him by faith. We know that He lives in our heart. Whom having not seen, ye love. In whom though now you see Him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. I don't have to see Him. I believe and I can rejoice. I rejoice. I don't have to see a lot of things, but I still love my wife. I can't see her, but I love her. I can't see the beautiful flowers, but I appreciate the fact they're there. And I've never seen Jesus, but I believe in Him and I rejoice in Him with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Having received the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. I've already received salvation. I've already obtained mercy from God. I've already been saved. And I know what it is to be saved and be born again. And I rejoice in that. I already have faith in my heart. I already have faith in my soul. And I rejoice because I know that I know that I know that He lives in my heart. I know that He's real. And I know that I have these wonderful H promises. Heaven, hope, and heaven, and honor. And having not seen Him, I still love Him. And He's in my heart. He lives there forever. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And I praise God for it. Father, I want to thank You for this word of encouragement today of Your people. And I pray that You'd bless these dear people, Lord. Your grace and mercy would smile upon them today. Lord, help us to feel better in our body, feel better in our heart and our spirit. Thank You, Lord, for the hope that You've given us in Jesus Christ. That hope that's undefiled and does not fade away is incorruptible and is kept up in heaven for us. And we thank You that we're headed that way. We praise You, Lord, for mercy. We praise You for the power of Your Spirit that helps us and causes us to rejoice. Even though we've never seen You, we rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. The preceding message has been a production of Tony Broom Ministries. 